Ladies and gentlemen, this is like a man walking on the moon. <laughs> Never before. Oh, 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 my, oh, oh, my lord. Oh. Bebo. <laughs> oh. Can live television get better than that? No. Maybe that was not the best idea, but we don't care. Can we get a replay on that? Can we get a replay? Just about ready to go. Been a great day of college football. We hope we have a real close one for you tonight. Again, the rapid pace. And Ellinger runs it in, a la Tim Tebow. Touchdown, Texas. What a start for the Horns. George is going to blitz a linebacker, but they're blitzing from the opposite side, and there's not an extra guy. The blitz comes here, but Ellinger is running this way, gets right behind his back, Keontae Ingram. Inside handoff to DeAndre Swift. Ball's out. The ball is out. A pile up at the 13. The Horns say they have it, and they do. That was the, one of the guys that Holly was just talking about. Freshman B.J. Foster, number 25, is going to come up and knock the ball out, along with Anthony Wheeler, number 45, and Wilbon, who played in this building as a high school senior in a state championship game. Georgia without DeAndre Baker, the corner, won the Jim Thorpe Award as the best DB in the country. Ellinger eludes the rush. Ellinger, touchdown, Texas. just ducked under the rush and I think this might have been a quarterback keeper all the way because watch Watson he's gonna go and block Ellinger the pressure gets there quick he ducks under it and then he gets right behind the block by Trey Watson the fact that he was blocking downfield the first appearance of the Rose Bowl for the Badgers since 63 from there wide open on target to Brian Herrien for the Georgia touchdown Backers and Harrion gets right into that soft spot. I said earlier they average more than 251 a game. Play fake by Fromm. And a tackle. Or was he down? Riley Ridley apparently knocked down. Devontae Davis didn't get him to the ground, and it's a big gainer for Georgia. PJ Locke finally did make the tackle of the Texas 42. Yeah, it looked like it was just going to be a completion short of the first down. Does yeah, he yeah. land on the player and bounce up? I think that from that angle, it looked like Ridley was correct. About nine out of 15 passing for 89. Todd Orlando looks like he's going to bring a blitz. Five men come after Fromm. He throws on the run, up for grabs, and intercepted by P.J. Locke. Playing in his final game of Texas a huge interception to start the half for the Horns but watch Anthony Wheeler number 45 right there he is going to get to Fromm and Fromm's not able to get enough on this throw he underthrows his intended receiver Ridley and PJ Locke who's sitting back there as a middle safety rush for 131 Ellinger deep throw up for grabs there's, there's the Colin one. Johnson yeah. out of the witness protection program with Eric Stokes in coverage, first down inside the 25 of the 23. Eric Stokes is in great position. The problem is Eric Stokes is listed at 6'1", and Colin Johnson is 6'6". Georgia lined up. Ellinger, first down. I think Tom Herman realizes we can't settle for field goals anymore. We have got to get a touchdown on this drive. We may not have the fight uh, all season long and all night tonight. So that's what they're doing. And Ellinger lunging into the end zone. Looked like he was wobbling as he got to the goal line, but he made it on fourth down. He didn't get a full head of steam. He had to elude Richard LeCount right in the backfield. Fromm hit him. And Jake Fromm hits Miko Hardman for the Georgia touchdown. Well, they needed to go quickly, and they did. The ball snapped. And Jake Fromm gets his team in the end zone very quickly. Texas not lined up. 
Fromm dumps it off. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift with 14 seconds to go. They're just going to slip DeAndre BC. Look at the, the confusion here. That's a mayhem moment for Texas. And a nice job of Jake Fromm finding DeAndre Swift. And it's recovered by the Longhorns. Colin Johnson. And Texas will win the All-State Sugar Bowl. It's going to be a 10-win season for the first time since 2009. In a New Year's Six Bowl victory.